self-isolation, quarantine day, I don't even know what. I figured I'd bring you guys a chill little like self-care day with me. I think it's so important right now when so many people are just struggling in so many different ways with everything going on, whether that be like anxiety or depression um, or just like loneliness and just being super overwhelmed by everything. I feel like there's this pressure to use this like quarantine time to write like a best-selling novel or become like fluent in a new language or like an expert at like playing the electric guitar, which are all great things. It's a great time to just sit with yourself and your thoughts and to just slow down. So I'm currently in California. I'm in my parents' guest bedroom. If this looks different, it's really weird trying to adjust to a different pace, but I'm trying to take advantage of just slowing down for once and enjoying the little simple things in life. Also, I just want to say to anyone out there who's maybe watching who doesn't have the privilege of being able to work or study from home, um, thank you for the work you're doing. Like, thank you to the nurses and the garbage truck men and women, the grocery store clerks and the pharmacists etc are working so hard while all the rest of us are trying to be safe at home and if you're able to but you're not doing it please just stay at home just social distance let's let's work together in this thing the more you stay home the less it has the chance to spread and the more that we can kick this thing in the butt and hopefully get our lives back so if you do have a chance to take a slow day I recommend it enjoy the little things again it's really forcing us to stop and slow down <laughs> La nuit est si longue, devant ce martinier. Une femme voit son présent qui est dans la nuit. Les étoiles tombent à part face à la lune. Elle respire son corps et s'abandonne dans la nuit. Ses mains glissent entre son corps. Baby. I made an extremely simplistic meal, literally just eggs and sourdough toast because you know what? I didn't feel like doing any more than that this morning. And I'm reading Girl with the Dragon Tattoo because I figured I could use a fictional read right now to kind of like take my mind off things and be transported to another world. I'm also reading Atomic Habits, which I do highly recommend, but sometimes you just want a nice light read and kind of to get lost in other stories. One of the things that's been really positive for my mental health this time is getting my body moving and exercising and like no i'm not somebody that just wakes up so excited to exercise <laughs> but i have been able to be like mentally so grateful for the chance to get my body like moving and grooving and it feels like less of a chore and more of a like a privilege thankfully around here i can still go for a run you know maintaining six feet social distance now i'm just so much more aware that i'm like this is probably the only chance i'm gonna get to be outside so i'm gonna take advantage of it so i went for a run yesterday so today i'm gonna do probably a workout video recently i've been really enjoying tone it up their app is really helpful because they have videos for like different parts of your body So for my bedroom, I'm gonna put on a little makeup because one of the things I've realized, I automatically will just feel so much better in the day if I take the time to get ready and feel cute. Put on a little outfit, kind of feel like a cool Indiana Jones in this shirt. Like I'm about to go become a safari tour guide, which you know, would not be opposed to this. We're wild, we're breaking out! <laughs> Quarantine can't stop us! It's okay, but it's short. Well, we're just gonna get some takeout lunch. Yeah. Our family never really grew up eating out. We never really eat out together, so we figured we're gonna do a little treat yourself. Plus, I didn't really wanna make lunch, and we're gonna support a local business. So go get some lunch, take out, and bring it home. Neither of the Tabor cars have lunch. <laughs> Hi, we got the goods. Buckle up. Oh, oh. I mean, 
I'm so happy I have food. Mm. Learning how to cook, how to play the guitar, how to do graphic design. I've been working on my French. All the things. I, on the other hand, <laughs> have binge watched Tiger King, uh, <laughs> read, and slept a lot. Mm. That's a good thing. And that's what I do. Gonna utilize the backyard and try to get a little bit of sun. It feels really good. If you have like a fire escape or a balcony or a backyard and it's warm, highly recommend. If you don't and it's gloomy, then get cozy inside. Try to get a little, a little tan on my skin. Hello. It's a really beautiful day today. It's really pulled through. I'm starting to get a little antsy inside, so I'm gonna go for a cute little skate around the neighborhood. I can't really properly skate. I learned to like skate in high school, which is basically just me and my like cheesy cheap longboard. It's a great little release to get your body moving and get some sun. to take some time for yourself and you know enjoy a slower pace and the little moments until things kind of feel normal again for now here we are we're gonna make the best of it Ooh. 